What's going on, everybody? I figure there's probably going to be a ton of videos out on this today, but I noticed this at 6 a.m. my time, which is Eastern, that uh, PSA did open up uh, Express, and that the price did increase 50 bucks a pop. So instead of 150 that was at, it's now 200 But it was expected. It really was. And I'm going to get into that here, um, why it was expected overall. Because I'm sure a lot of people might not know the whole background behind it. So real quick, I'm going to pull. Where did it go? Ah, there it is. Let me pull it up on the screen here. So this came out, of course. That you probably got a newsletter if you got an account and everything. Uh after customer surveying, which they did do about a month ago, and I was one of the survey people, I know that. I don't know how many people did it, but it was dealing with questions about them releasing different levels and how you would pay for it if you wanted it done quicker at a more expensive price, or would you rather, like Express, if you wanted it done in a week, would you pay $200, or would you pay... 150 to have it back in four to six weeks stuff like that there it was all kind of questions so it went through a lot of different types of levels and what basically as a collector that we're looking for and you know through them being our grading company what we expected i know i've talked to probably a couple people about it there was a section at the end where you could put your own comments in and they didn't have a character count because I had a big, long, I'd probably say about eight or nine paragraphs into it in detail with what I thought overall. And I thought maybe they would look at having Express in two different levels. So say you wanted an Express card back super quick. You know that because if you look at first, you got to realize they're tiered by the amount of money the card's valued at. So say... My card's over $1,000, but under $2,500. I'm in the express level after it's graded out. Well, if my card's like $2,000 to $2,500, I might want to spend that $200, have it back in a week so I could sell it. But if I'm willing to wait, you know, three to four weeks, okay, I don't mind spending $150. You know, kind of like have a demand with the card onto it. So kind of like each service level would have two tiers. And I was hoping that's what they were going to do. But I did overall expect them to be raising prices based off their questionnaire. I'm just hoping that with the raising of the prices, the services are quicker with Express than what they were. We'll find out. I did send a package in today, a couple cards. Stuff I've been holding here. I want to give it a shot, see how quick it goes and everything. And I know a lot of people out there are upset because, oh, they put Express back. And I'm going to control plus this real quick because I kind of forgot. But I know some people are going to be out there bashing them and everything like that. But I can understand. At least they didn't release all the levels at once. It was, from my understanding, it was going to be Express July 1st. After a national be regular. Probably September, October economy will come back depending on where they are in their backlog. You're probably looking beginning of next year, maybe late this year. The values will come back. Which, if they have a good grasp on it all with everybody flowing, hopefully you don't kill them again, you know, to where they got to shut down. You know, part of it's their fault. Part of it's us as a collector or, you know, flipper, whatever you want to call it, it's fault too because we were just sending everything in. Everything and anything they could grade out didn't matter if it was a 1 or a 10, to be honest, from what I've seen. And I see people recently upset with their grades and stuff. And I mean, realistically, myself and Joey just had an order pop last night. And it was actually in Q8-2 uh, for about two days. And I called them up and I said, grades are pretty much where we I expected them at. Because they were all microscoped. Um... There was no shocks at all onto it. I knew stuff would be nines and tens across the board. There was one eight, which I was expecting on it. And then I will say I did have a six on another card, but it was a 79 tops. But I'll go on that when it comes back in. But overall, I mean, there was nothing wrong with the last 
three submissions that I've gotten back that I've used with the microscope and, you know, went in real detail onto it. Nothing always really come off as shocking to me with the grades that have come back onto it. But it is what it is. We do have Express back. And what I want to do, this is just more of the letter offhand. Memberships are extended further and all that stuff. They talk about during the last three months, they devoted 98%. You can read all this if you want to. It's on their website. It's a bunch of stuff, you know, basically pack and ticket updates, stuff like that. But what I want to show you guys is this. All right. So this is the complete through dates. I know everybody does their videos and matrixes and everything. And if you've listened to what I've been saying with PSA for a while, I've told everybody Express was caught up a long time ago when I got my Express order back, even though it didn't show it. Because I should have been one of the last ones because my stuff got lost by FedEx. Economy, I knew, was completely done because of where I had my economy packages. I can tell you now, regular is further out than this 7 March date. And I'm going to talk about these dates because they changed the meaning of the complete through date. The 7 March, RP, Mon and Joey's regular was, in on, was complete through dates 8 May. 8 May. So that's two months past this. So real quick before I go into this. Okay. So complete through dates. It's now basically the day before the date of the oldest order in a PSA system. So it's not the one that's completed. It's the oldest one that's been entered into their database because they want this new method. So... The oldest package that they have that they have not touched yet is 7 March. Now, the reason behind these dates being like two months in the gap is people were sending 100 to two to 300 cards, and this could be considered a bulk submitter or group submitter right here because there's a stack of them. And the reason why those haven't been great yet, they have to project so many per day, and they had to spread the big packages out, filter in all the small packages, you got If you ever worked in a factory and ever had to do um, stuff like that, this would really, really explain it mostly with the way the systems are. So if 10 of us all send in 150 cards at once, we're all not going to be – and we receive them all the same day, we might not see them all back within the same week period. It could be a month because they're, you know, plotting this stuff up in their system on how it's going to get worked with a workflow system. The same time frame – if you have autographs being graded, autographs being authenticated, or any kind of like thick or bigger cases, that's why these dates are further out. So I could tell you, if you do have a regular order out there, mine was just completed uh, and it's being mailed out today as of 8 May. So just be cautious now. These dates are the oldest order that they have that they have not graded yet. It's the day before, so... The day before the oldest order, so really 8 March is where they're on, if their oldest order. So let's take a look. Ultra Modern all of a sudden is now up to 8 October. If you see the letter, they've caught up Express, so they'll be starting to get Express. Regular is pretty much going to be complete here very soon. They've probably pushed all these economy people down into here because this had a big jump overnight. And since they last updated, I'm talking probably about ooh, over a week. I know it was September. I think it was 30 September last. So they're working those ultra moderns, which is good. And they're going to start catching up all this stuff down here. Now, your quarterly specials, those we already knew were six to nine months out way before COVID, like two a year before. That's just the way it was. But they're making some progress out there at the same time frame. Expect rates to be shifted around for a little bit. I think, you know, they're going to test it and see if they have it at X amount of price. Is it going to really, how are they going to get bombarded again? And if you don't want everybody send every rookie card out of a prison box in, you kind of got to do something to where you try to alleviate that to where your graders are actually focusing on stuff. And maybe... When you start doing your quarterly specials and stuff again, that's where you throw that stuff into and say, hey, this could take a year or later to get back. I know it sucks in some ways. Um, am I happy? I am. I am happy because I know that's going to be a question. I'm glad that we got Express back. Um, the price? <sighs> Mixed on to it, to be honest. 
I mean, yeah, it does suck grading for two hundred dollars, you know, a card. But I, when I look at doing my grading, I try to send one or two cards in that I have hardly anything into, and one in this order I just sent in was that Tatis one hundred one um, logo man from Defendive. I think I have a hundred dollars basically into that card for what I got it at or want it or in a break. So spend two hundred dollars. That's three hundred dollars of my money in. Even if I would say the other cards say I grade out and I'm at like with shipping and all that, just say eleven, twelve hundred dollars, something like that. There, that Tatis logo man, regardless of what it grades, is going to be way valued over it. My other three cards are coming back basically graded for free in a way. Even though I'm paying for it, Tatis is more paying for my order. If that makes sense. So I try not to, like, where I'm buying my boxes, if I have to rebuy in $2,000 boxes, going, gosh, I got to grade this card out. It's got to be a 10. I got to spend this amount of money. If it doesn't come back, you know, I'm in a whole more money. I try to get stuff to where I don't have a whole lot invested in it. The upside's good, and I add stuff to it. So that way, the overall value of that order makes sense to me. So that, that's why I do things the way I do it. Because otherwise, I start getting nervous, jittery, upset. Plus, like I said, I will say the microscope has really helped out because there was only a couple orders that I've used it on. Um, that was the, the Express, the Super Express, this regular. And due to their time crunch, I really didn't have a chance to do all the ultra modern and moderns I sent in. They were all basically eyeballed. So if they can come back anything, I could have missed on them. But I'm, I'm pretty happy overall, overall with the thing, uh, with PSA coming back, doing their, their announcement onto it. But wanted to pull this up just so everybody can see these dates here. Also to understand that their complete through dates, what it meant before and what it means now is completely different. If you guys want to get into the packs and tickets and all that's on there, extended all that, backlog. Uh, you know, same hoopla that you get all the time. But let's we'll take a look and see how well this happens here. Um, yep, I'm the guy that sent one in, overnighted it to them. So they should have it tomorrow. We'll see when it gets uh, marked as arrived and see how long it takes for an express package to go through. And if you guys have stuff there, you know, you're like, Ugh, I don't know if it's going to be a three or four month wait. I don't think it will be. Um... I'm guessing I'll probably have it back within two to three weeks tops, hopefully. But we'll see. My idea was to try to have it back before the show on the 27th, I think it's this month. I'll have to look at my dates. And I will say this. I did have a day. I don't know. Change a little bit of subject here. SGC order. I sent it in. It went into the system last Monday, and it's been graded, and it's coming back uh, as of today. And I was shocked on the grades. And when you guys see what I'll talk about in the video, I mean, you could tell there's a big difference between grading companies and how they grade. And I'll explain that whenever the SGC order comes back in. But I figure I'd get this video out to everybody. Um, this weekend, I don't know, there's a few things I want to touch on the different subjects. I'm going to get those videos out as well. I may open up a couple of soccer boxes and just to post it up there. I don't know. I'll see how it goes. It, I just got a box of Tier 1, that new Finest. But the next video I come out with, um, this should be out tomorrow. Yeah, it should be out tomorrow. Is going to talk about Tops, the Tops company. It's something... That I've told a few people about, but I wanted to let all the retailers catch up because I didn't want like to hurry up and go and slam people, and I didn't want people to hurry up go on eBay and buy Tops products, and next thing you know, there's a ton of chargebacks out there. But I've given enough time to marinate, so be on the look for what I'm going to talk about with Tops coming up, and it's an eye opener. It really is. It's an eye opener. But as always, everybody, thank you for watching the videos. I appreciate the support to the channel. I know there's a lot of, like, I don't want to say negative videos, but it's like going into the negative parts of the hobby out there, such as uh, trim card, alter cards, fake autographs and stuff. And I know getting the information out there 
kind of starts making it look down upon the hobby and stuff like that there. But I'd rather just getting the information out it to everybody out there. There, there's a lot of good news to me. It was a good news. PSA opened up Express. It kind of sucks. It was two hundred dollars a pop. It's kind of good where they're catching up and trying to get back to normal out there because Beckett is way behind, way, way, way behind. But all right, everybody. Enough on this video. I'll see you guys when I talk tops in the next video. Take care.